Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Friday. Guys, welcome back to Up and Adam channel two. Hopefully you guys were able to join us on the main channel this morning for our hot messy topics with Kim from Bravo Breaking News. We had the best time, but if you weren't able to join us, then fear not. You still have time to go back and be a part of the replay crew. We're back to talk about some drama that's going on when it comes to the Real Housewives of Miami, especially Larsa Pippen and Marcus Jordan in this reunion situation. I don't know if you guys heard about this yet, but we're going to break into all of it. So go ahead, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and let's go. Okay, we're going to start with Larsa and Marcus um, because apparently Marcus had this outburst at the Real Housewives of Miami reunion so bad it could change the cast's opinion of him. Well, it was actually Julia Lemagova who ended up speaking out about this, and this was wild to me. Thank you to Page Six and all about the Real Housewives. She's shedding more insight on the possible catalyst for Larsa and Marcus's recent relationship issues. She said that she believes Larsa's jealous streak may have played a part in Marcus and Larsa's problem. She said relationships are a hard thing, and we all know Larsa is very jealous. Hmm. She also noted, or noted that she's experienced Larsa's jealous side. Now she's saying that she saw a different side of Marcus at the season six reunion, which changed her opinion of him. So this week, Julia Lemagova appeared on Dorinda Medley's Sirius XM show, Reality Checked. And during the interview, Dorinda asked Julia about her experience at the reunion, which is when Julia kind of teased a moment that left her questioning Marcus and seeing him in a completely different light and not a good one. Now, Dorinda also brought up the season six reunion and mentions that when the reunion was filmed, Larsa and Marcus, well, that was before their relationship problems became public knowledge, right? So Dorinda said, and Marcus and Larsa were together at the reunion. So you don't have any of this information, but Julia, you were saying something interesting to me. This is where she came in. You know, sometimes we hear things and when it happens, we don't pay much attention. But then when I saw the news two days ago about the breakup, I started rethinking Marcus, who seems, you know, first impression as a very kind gentleman. And that's what I thought of him up until actually now, because I remembered some things that I've heard he said on the reunion and a few people actually heard it, which was absolutely horrible. You know, Dorinda then pressed for more saying horrible to her or horrible to you or just horrible in general. She said in general, it's something that stuck with me. And I don't look at him the same way anymore because he actually said it and it made me rethink who he is as a person. So it's not, I don't think of him anymore as this gentle, kind man. So who knows, you know, he was, in his private life with Larsa before. And, you know, this obviously has a lot of attention, but of course I'm not speculating. They seem to be so in love, but again, we don't know what happened behind closed doors. So really with what Julia is saying, it's kind of unclear what she's alluding to, but while chatting with page six, the virtual reality podcast, she wondered if Marcus cheated or if Larsa found a photo of another woman on his phone. As you guys may recall, Larsa allegedly became irate after Julia asked Marcus to snap photos of her with his phone during BravoCon 2023 in Vegas, and that was last November. I mean, how jealous she got when she saw my pictures on Marcus's phone. Oh my God. And it was like the most innocent thing. And it created a wave. So who knows? Maybe she's seen a picture of somebody else. But while Julia also clarified that she is just speculating, she did admit that she doesn't know what else could have contributed to Larsa and Marcus's relationship issues after only one year of dating. It was Valentine's Day where TMZ nabbed photos of Larsa and Marcus out and about in Miami, and the two were spotted out at Trias Flowers and Gifts in Miami. That was on Wednesday. And then they were seen headed back to Larsa's condo. And this was obviously confusing for multiple people, including the outlets, because they just literally claimed that the two split. But maybe they're just on a break. We don't actually know what the hell is happening in this situation. I mean... To be fair, I don't know if we're going to find out either. I think that as of right now, this is like going to be whatever Larsa wants to share. You know what I think? And I met Larsa and Marcus at BravoCon. Um, they were so nice. He was carrying around her little selfie light and everything. But I think for her and him, 
I don't know. I think that there's a lot of attention on this relationship. And I think that they really like the attention. And I think with that, it's funny because she had no problem talking about the Kardashians and their stuff, especially when Jordan and Tristan hooked up and TMZ caught up with her and Kim and Chloe and all of them got really upset. But we're not really hearing much about Larsa's own personal situation, if you guys know what I mean. Also, thank you to Reality Blurb. They came out with this saying, Larsa Pippen took to her Instagram story on Wednesday night to shade her castmates for trash talking a diamond necklace that she gifted them on the latest episode of the show. So Larsa presented Kiki, Alexia, and Julia with diamond necklaces in the shape of her tequila brand on the episode. And this is where Kiki and Alexia suggested that she only did so for her own self-promotion. And Larsa slammed them for their bullshit. And she accused Kiki of crediting the bling to another jeweler. She said, I worked really hard. I gifted my friends diamond necklaces. And instead of appreciating the thought, they talk trash. Unbelievable. I'm a giver. What have you ever given besides bullshit? Mm. Moments later, as she reshared Lars's post, Kiki fired back, suggesting that Lars's gesture wasn't the friendly gift she made it out to be. And alluding to the fact that Larsa only acts like a good friend to the other women. It's been my experience that people who make proclamations about themselves are usually the opposite of what they claim to be. And that's actually an interesting one. Yes, a hard worker, like we all are. Yes, a good friend, as you keep having to remind us. But Larsa actually fired back again with another post on her Instagram story that featured a photo previously shared by Kiki. And in the post, Kiki was seen walking on a New York City street with her jewelry and a brown fur coat. And she gave a shout out to another jeweler in the caption writing, Snow Much Fun Jewelry, Nikki Rocks Jewelry. And maybe don't rock my necklace giving credit to another jeweler. That would be nice, is what Larsa said. But again, we all know how housewives work with social media wars and Firing back, once again, Kiki explained that the other jewelry that she had on in the photo was a part of a business deal that she made with its creator. The other jewelry was a business deal. I had to eat crickets for my tequila logo necklace. <sighs> oh, okay. Okay, so we're a little bit shady boots right now, and I think that I'm here for every minute of it. Guys, I want to hear what your thoughts are. Pop off in the comments and let me know what you think about this, especially with the back and forth. And I really still wonder what the hell Marcus said at this reunion. And now that there's so much buzz around it, will Andy Cohen, will Bravo end up airing it? Or was it not caught on the hot mic? Or do they just not want any of that mess coming from the Jordan family, which could be a thing too. I have questions to which I need answers. Pop off in the comment section, smash that like button, show some love, and happy Friday, everyone. Love you guys.